Hey guys, um, I just wanted to make a little bit of an informative video You're dealing with the, uh, the dreaded yaw spin on tricopters with uh, the CC3D. Um, now this is uh, the generic tricopter setup. Everything is at stock settings. I did have to, in the transmitter wizard, reverse my yaw roll and pitch. Um, but as you can see, well, hmm. Right's left, left's right, so it's all correct orientation. Um, but whenever I spool up and try to get any kind of lift, I get that. And um, <clears throat> if you bear with me here, I'm going to switch everything over. And I'm gonna show you all what I found, fixed it. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people that probably already know this, but um, there seems to be a hard amount of information in figuring it out. Um, there's not a lot of good sources out there, I guess. All right, guys, now uh, you saw I was getting the dreaded y'all spin. Um, I got everything hooked up to the computer, get the props off. I haven't changed any settings yet. I still got right is left, left is right, stock tune. Well, if you come over here to your ground control station, and I don't know how well this is going to pick up because I'm not set up to make these kind of videos, but make sure your props are off. Go to the output tab and test outputs. Confirm. All right. If you drag your yaw slider to the left and your servo from the backside moves to the left, and you go to the right, moves to the right, then your yaw is set up backwards. All right. So make sure to take down or take note of your neutral number on your yaw because when you do this, you're going to have to set it back to that neutral number. But uh, get it back there. Un unclick test outputs click reverse save alright now if we test outputs again left on the slider is right and right on the slider is left the way it's supposed to be alright so get everything back to neutral Stop your output. Save your settings. Go to your input because now on your transmitter, right is right and left is left. So now you need to reverse your input on your transmitter. So just simply go into your input tab, reverse your yaw, save your settings and left is right, right is left. All right, I'm gonna set everything back up and show y'all what it did. <clears throat> if you bear with me for a minute. All right, we're back over here. We reversed the yaw servo and the input and output tabs of the ground control station software. Um, I'll show y'all here that now I am able to I am now able to hover and of course uh, it definitely needs to be tuned because it's got some drift and everything but just wanted to show you guys Hope this helped. I uh, hope you can see everything on the video whenever I finally get it all put back together and post it up. Have a good one.